How's it going guys? We are back on the global side of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle where they've just dropped a brand new Yamcha and a Yajirobe alongside him as well and he does have a 200% lead which is pretty good with Earthbred Warriors and things like that as well. I think it's the first one or the first time that we've got that on the global side so I am excited to jump into a couple of summons. Let me know down below if you're a Yamcha fan and let's get into it. Alright then so here is the banner and I will be completely honest I don't think the ba banner is particularly good and the Yamcha is an alright unit but for me personally I'm not the most excited about a Yamcha but hey ho like I said I'm sure there's some Yamcha fans out there so we've got the brand new Yamcha we've got a brand new Yajirobe which once again looks pretty good and then we've got the Goku and Vegeta coming back for the first time on Global we've got this uh, Super Saiyan or Transforming Trunks as well and we've got Captain Ginyu who to be honest in my personal opinion is probably one of the best units on this banner as we all know with the Ginyu Forces, absolutely broken team. Then we've got Angel Frieza, who goes into Golden Frieza, the Transforming Goku, and then just a bunch of SRs. So, not the most craziest or hypest of banners, but still not a the worst I guess about average my personal opinion we do also have uh, discount multis as well so we've got 150 stones should give us full four multis in total like I said I'm not the most excited about a Yamcha and also the sales weren't the greatest so we're not going to do the most summons maybe if I get more dragon stones later down the line I'll do some more but I would point out to everyone there is also tickets it is a little bit costly hence why we're not doing it in this video I think it's in my currency about 35 pounds something like that i think about 36 dollars something along those lines and you do get a guaranteed uh featured ssr might be worth for all of you guys but like i said i'm not actually not the hypers about yamcha i don't know why i'm just not just i guess it's yamcha but without further ado make sure to hit that like and subscribe and we're gonna jump into some summons nonetheless because he is overall a good unit he does have an active skill all that sort of good stuff and like i said his lead skill is actually not that bad as well going up to 200 percent lead so we'll see what we can do is krillin an 18 a pair i believe it is well, I guess we'll see as we go through it here. Okay, so we got Kawaii. All right. I think that's how you say her name from the Tournament of Power. Anything else in here? We got a Yamcha, but not quite the right one. And we got Yajirobe. I'll take Yajirobe to start off with. It, with the first discount multi. Okay. I'll take that 100%. This is already off to a relatively good start. Like I said, I do understand this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter than some of the hyper units, but hey, oh, it is what it is. Right, uh, we've got all the squads, basically, which doesn't really equate into any pair or anything like that. And we've only got Super Saiyan 2, so let's see. It's only... I believe it's only one load of discounts. I guess we'll see it as we go through. Um, but we will see. Some discounts are nice, like I said. It's up to you. If Yamcha is your favourite character, then you may want to just jump into it, obviously, because that is the part about the game. The fact that if you like the characters, I'm sure you want to jump in and things like that. But my recommendation is maybe just going through the discounts, and that's about it, personally. Because at some point, you'll probably pick up the Yamcha nonetheless. Okay, let's jump into the 40 stone multi summon. Nothing too crazy there. We got Trunks, Piccolo, and was it Yamcha as well? We'll see. I don't know what it is. It's just the way that the series has gone with Yamcha. He's just always, I don't know. I don't want, I even want to say the underdog. Just not the most popular of characters, shall we say. Especially for me, anyway. Right, are we going to get anything decent out of here? Let's see. So these full discount multis as well equate up to 100 stones. So we should be able to have one normal multi summon as well. Paragus. We've got Trunks. Vegeta is not looking great, is it? And we've got a Goten kid. Okay. I guess we'll see now. Is there any further? No. So it's only one lot of discounts. Like I said, you may want to do them and just head out after that. Let me know down below if you did manage to uh, pull the Yamcha or who you managed to pull. Why not? Let me know down below. And we're going to be finishing up this quite quick video with one last full multi. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we got Vegeta and Chiaotzu. Now, there are rumours that that guarantees you a fusion. I think that's wrong, because uh, <laughs> we didn't fuse. Didn't even go Super Saiyan. All oh, right, I was kind of a little bit hopeful there. Can we... No God, either. 
Ooh, these summons haven't gone well, have they? All right, we got Ultimate Gohan. We got Basha. Borgos. Can we get that Yamcha? We've already got the Ajirobi, which in some cases is even harder to pull than the actual Yamcha, to be honest. Those side banner units. Uh, right, we got Chao Tzu. And just a Super Saiyan 2. Ooh! Right, old Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And a Buller. All right. Like I said, it's worth jumping in just for a couple of summons. But for me, I'm just going to wait until I get uh, the Yamcha at another point in time, I think. But... Like I said, I have tried him a couple of times on JP, and whilst he is quite good and uses the active skill, got good leader skill and things like that, it's just the character I'm just not overly excited about, if I'll be honest. So let me know down below how your summons went. Hopefully you did manage to use the, uh, get the Yamcha and possibly the Adrobi as well. Let me know who you managed to pull. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Ciao.